All right, coming up next, it's the UFC middleweight division fight. All right, here he is for my money. Might be the most well-rounded fighter in this division. A true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Presenting the passionate town of Liverpool, Merseyside, England. Here is the gorilla, Darren Till. This is a man unto himself, very special fighter and young man. He's a very special young man. He's a very special fighter, and the people are drawn to Darren Till. If you witness a Darren Till walkout, as you are right now, you understand that it's very special. He has that star quality, but that star quality means nothing. If you don't have the fighting ability, Darren Till definitely has the fighting ability. What a great frame for this welterweight division. Not always easy for him to make the 171 pound limit, but at least until further notice, Darren Till is a welterweight and a contender at that. Our tale of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. Both fighters are 27 with the same height and reach. All right, to get us started now, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 16 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Marvin Vittori! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 18 wins, three losses, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Liverpool, England. All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, come out fighting. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. A striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the Nice loop and bunch. Both guys throwing potential fight-enders here in the early going. Knee strike there, interrupted by Darren Till. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? That right in there. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. 
Till gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the Till. Just a slip there. Punch coming, it's blocked. And he landed the right hand there. Flips that left hand. Come on, buddy. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Okay, okay. Let's go. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Oh! Big elbow there. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Nice kick. Oh, Till gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Oh, beautiful strike attempt there as he lands the hook. Beautiful hook. Really did a great job of keeping his back hand on his chin, throwing that hook and putting it exactly where he needs it to go. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. So as we pull up... Wow! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! Just over two minutes to go. Powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Whoa! Oh! Ah! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Darren Till. He engages in the single collar tie. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Powerful leg kick land. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Rip the body there. Just missed with the left there. Good straight hand there by Till. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Oh, that right hand is on point. That was a cutting leg kick. Straight punch lands. Oh! He loaded up on that right hand, too. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, you can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Right hand punches the clinch. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. 10 seconds now to go in the round. But this is exactly what he needed. To get a takedown and secure the position. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Okay, you ready? Round two. Ready? Second round underway. That was not good. How about that chin? Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Jab, cross, 
flips the punch nicely there. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Leg kick. And they separate. Nice punch man over the top. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Landed that left hook. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Great punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Till's got a big bruise starting to form on the right side of his body. Big kick lands. Oh, Till gets tattooed by that straight punch. All right, so he lands a jab there. Oh! Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Three minutes to go in round two. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pockets. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is gonna start to drive these over and over. You gotta be careful here, you gotta move. Lands the right hand. Got the single collar tie. Nice punch here. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Misses again with a right punch. He blocks the punch. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, that's a good right hand. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, single power oh. tie here. And now he lands a combination. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Jockey in for position in the clinch. Both fighters here trying to get a more dominant position. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Blocks the shot. Hill gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Pretty effective strike there as he led with that left hand. It's his best strike. It does not matter what fight stance he's in. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes.
Ready. Ready. Third Let's round go. underway. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Hook shot attempt to the head here. Instead, it's blocked by Till. Oh! Oh! Going for the body, missed with that kick. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he had. Oh, well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moved so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Visibly limping here. Oh, that's got to be discouraging as he gets right back up again. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And he connects with a the punch there. Oh! He didn't like that left hand. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh. And you hear the crowd react every time they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. So inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Liver kick. Nice punch, man. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's side. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. Oh my goodness, what a fight. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliani has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 10 seconds of the third round. Going to winner by knockout, Dan So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.